Elsewhere around the world, a van ramming incident in Toronto took lives and injured more than a dozen people. And among the dead are two South Korean nationals whose details have not yet been released. Another Korean is seriously hurt and three others are still disconnected. EG1 has the latest. Two South Koreans have been reported to be among the dead in the van rampage incident in Toronto. Seoul's foreign ministry said Tuesday afternoon that of the three South Koreans previously reported to have been injured, two had died with one still being treated for a rib fracture. Another of the dead is a Canadian national of Korean descent. The ministry also said there were nine South Koreans who initially couldn't be contacted. Six of them are now known to be safe, but the whereabouts of the other three are still unknown. There is much concern about the safety of South Korean nationals as the attack occurred in Toronto's downtown, where the city's Koreatown is located. The incident occurred at about 1.30 Monday afternoon local time in the North York area at the intersection of Young Street and Finch Avenue. The driver of the white rental van is said to have jumped the curb, striking a number of pedestrians. He just went on the sidewalk. He just started hitting everybody, man. He hit every single person on the sidewalk. Anybody in his way, he would hit. The bus stop, everything got shattered. And uh, there was four bodies on the ground. Police and the ambulance hadn't arrived yet, but uh, people were trying to revive them. Uh, obviously to no avail. But by the time the police and paramedics got there, they, uh, they tried again and didn't work. And so they covered the bodies, put them in body bags and uh, taken them away. The suspect fled the scene but was arrested after a tense standoff with police several blocks away. He's now in custody and being investigated, but details of the probe are still scarce. According to U.S. media, he has been identified as 25-year-old Alec Minasian, a college student who, unlike previous reports, was not known to the authorities. Police believe he acted deliberately and they are trying to determine his motive, but they added that the incident doesn't currently appear to be related to terror. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who was at a meeting with the foreign ministers of the G7 leading industrialized nations, issued a brief statement Monday afternoon expressing his condolences to those affected. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.